It is Black History Month and we're taking a journey inside black barbershops. Well, we sat down with the owner of one well-known Atlanta shop who's cut the hair for some iconic clients. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston has this story. The significance of black barbershops in the community dates back many, many years. A place that not only leaves you looking good, but also feeling good. I would just go in and get my hair cut and I would leave because at that time, wasn't that many young people's hanging in the barbershop. That's what Bobby Horn remembers as a kid going to the barbershop. But as an adult, he spends most of his time in a shop he calls his own. We're sitting in Bobby's barbershop. 812 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. For almost 30 years, Horn has cut hair in his well-known Atlanta shop. I really do enjoy cutting hair, and I enjoy meeting people and talking with people, you know. That's, that's the life of a barbershop. Bobby's small shop has been home to conversations with people of great stature. I've cut John Lewis hair in here. I cut who else in here? Hmm. That was about all in here, but across the streets, I cut Maynard Jackson. I've cut um, Martin Luther King's hair, you know, but at that time, Pascal's was booming and they'd be on their way down to Pascal's to have their meeting and they would stop in and get a haircut, get the shoes shined and talk for a while and then they would go on down to their meetings and things down at Pascal's. His barber shop, like many other black owned shops, serves an important role, not only a place where civil rights leaders came before iconic meetings, but also as a safe space for everyday patrons. It always has been a part of the community, you know. I guess it's just a place for men's to come in and some women's come in and just sit down and we just chat. Most of the sports, I'm going to leave it like that, most of the sports. But some of the conversations can get kind of raw, so <laughs> we'll just, we just leave it at sports. Horn only plans on cutting hair for about another year, but he says, of course, he'll always come back for a cut in conversation. I don't already told him that when I leave, I'm coming back and get free haircut. <laughs> And you can really tell there's a sense of community inside of the shop, and that's something that Bobby tells me will never go away. Reporting in Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. 